Hey everyone, welcome to another uh, Dorkside Cookies episode. And today I am opening another birthday present, Android Mainframe. So we had originally started the YouTube channel. Um, one, because I always wanted to do a YouTube channel, but two, because we were working on a Kickstarter for a board game. And that game, now we just thought, hey, we'll get a community, we'll talk to people, we'll meet people, we'll work with people, and all these things will help us get our, uh, you know, our Kickstarter off the ground. And I think when we get to it, it all of this will. Like we've met a bunch of great people, and it's just, it'll be good. But Mainframe is a game, it says of cyber domination. I think it's about hackers. And our game was about hackers. It was, our game was like hackers like, like the movie Hackers. You know, it's like pseudo Hollywood style hacking. Now, I have an IT background, so I was going to infuse like a lot of like real, like using rainbow tables and stuff like that, um, that you would use if you really were hacking. But uh, I was excited to see this. So let's see what's, what we've got going on. So this is set in the Android universe, which is like the same, uh, it's like the cyberpunk universe or kind of like a Blade Runner universe. All right. Android Mainframe is a fast paced strategy game for two to four players set in the Android universe. During a game of Mainframe, players assume the roles of runners, members of a criminal subculture who infiltrate cyberspace for fame and profit. Execute programs, place access points and partitions, and gain control of the mainframe. All right. So I think this is super cool because when I play games like Shadowrun, I often lean towards playing a Decker, which is the same. Uh, well, here they say runners, and runners are often, I thought, anybody but this is android i'm not really too familiar with their specific version of cyberpunk at any rate the idea of me and a bunch of friends trying to out compete hacking into the mainframe i'm excited all right oh yeah this is an ffg game um I love FFG, but you'll see I don't actually open up a lot of FFG things because their games are often big. And honestly, we just don't have like an endless amount of time to keep learning and playing games that take so long to set up. But you know me, my true, my true love is with big box games. Okay. So, uh, very you know, typical FFG type of rule book. What does make me happy is it is only eight pages. So this is really short for an FFG game. A lot of FFG games have like a whole separate index. Plastic pegs, you know, uh, I assume so you can put down your, um, your barriers. Some cards that look almost like they're out of Netrunner which I believe Netrunner is set in the same universe. Gordian Blade. So obviously to cut the Gordian Knot, hopefully there's a Gordian Knot uh, firewall kind of card. Um, okay, so the cards look mostly simple, but there is some long text cards. That's what I'm gonna basically skew that's cool I, I okay um so you don't know what you're gonna probably draw maybe or what the other people are gonna use i i like that oops Tokens for your runner. 
Though in my heart, I'll always think Decker, because I'm a Shadowrun guy. Boom, boom. Six personas to assume. So we have the tokens for each character. We have the cards and So this has got to be one of the most interesting game boards and also probably one of the most expensive. Um, oh, there we go. So these fit together. like so. And got these plastic pegs to put on it. And we've got player tokens to dominate areas. We've got a bunch of cards. Um, this, this, to me, it looks like kind of the best of both worlds, like a big box game in terms of like cards and lots of pieces. But Short rule book, probably pretty straightforward to play. Um, that's that's it. I mean, um, they give you a little background on each of these characters, like Kate Mac McCaffrey, constantly writing, modifying, and reverse engineering programs. Mac is a digital tinker. She has created and distributed numerous programs on the cyber criminal community known as the Shadow Net, which has earned her some renown among her fellow runners. Okay, it's cool. I that's that's the thing about Android, right? Like, you get glimpses into this universe if you just play the games. Without anything else, you still get glimpses into this universe, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, yep, yep, yep. That's that's it, guys. Uh, that's mainframe. I uh, obviously I got a lot of games for my for my uh, birthday, um, but this is a game I want to play soon. Like hopefully I will get this recorded and up ASA, uh, ASAP because uh, I love I love games about hackers. Um, so my question for you guys is. Have any of you played Uplink? Because that's that's the game I kind of want to model our like our Kickstarter after, like our board game after. So I just want to know, like, am I the only one who loves that game? Like I've bought that game like three times. Um, I really love Uplink. So uh, post down below. Or, you know, find me over on Facebook or Twitter or on Medium, you know, wherever. And uh, tell me, uh, if not, if you have played Uplink, did you love it? Do you hate it? Uh, if not, is there another hacking game like this that, that, you, uh, uh, that you like? Or do you think it's boring? And you're like, hacking games? I always want to be a street samurai. Um, bonus points if... If you can tell me the other cyberpunk roles that, that you're like into the face, you want to be the face, you know, anything like that. Uh, until next time, guys. Bye.